Close to a thousand years ago began a great migration of Nishnabe people from the east coast. Many tribes were on this migration, looking for where the food grew on the water. After hundreds of years on this migration and multiple tribes splitting off and going their separate ways, eventually our people found themselves at Bawating, or present-day Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. This is where another split would happen. Three bands of Nishnabe split from each other, going their separate ways. These tribes would take on new names as Ojibwe, Odawa, and Potawatomi. The older brother tribe, the Ojibwe, became keepers of the faith. The middle brother tribe, the Odawa, became keepers of the trade. And the youngest brother tribe, the Potawatomi, became keepers of the fire. These three tribes are known as the Three Fires Confederacy. As these three tribes took their own separate paths, the Potawatomi later came to control the areas of southern Michigan, northern Indiana, northern Illinois, southern and eastern Wisconsin, and also part of Ohio, with the largest presence in southwest Michigan. With over 300 known village sites in these areas, the Potawatomi controlled this region. One of our origin stories has our people originating in the state of Wisconsin prior to migrating to the East Coast. The eastern side of Wisconsin had a number of Potawatomi villages, many along the western side of Lake Michigan. This history remains as a lot of towns in eastern and southern Wisconsin actually come from Potawatomi words, either from village names or from names of leaders in said villages. Wisconsin itself also comes from one of our words, Wishkosin. Wishkosin means prairie grass. The southern part of Wisconsin and northern part of Illinois had a lot of prairie. This too is where the prairie band Potawatomi get their name, as it was the areas of their band's ancestral villages. The northern part of present-day Illinois also had an abundance of Potawatomi villages primarily along the Fox, Des Plaines, and Kankakee Rivers, also in the present-day Chicago area. Our history also lives on in these areas, with many towns and city names coming from Potawatomi words. Chicago itself comes from Zhigagosh, which is a wild leak. We call this area Zhigagoynak. Zhigagoynak means place of the wild leeks or wild onions. Although the Potawatomi were not the only tribe in these areas, so too were the Miami, Kickapoo, Mascouten, Sock and Fox, Peora, Illinois, Kaskaskia, Wea, Odawa, Ojibwe, among other tribes. In the present-day state of Indiana, whereas the Delaware, Kickapoo, Miami, Wea, and among other tribes controlled the southern part of the state, the Potawatomi shared territory with the Miami, north of the Wabash River, with the largest number of settlements being along the Tippecanoe and St. Joseph Rivers. Many places in northern Indiana are named after Potawatomi words. For instance, Mishawaka comes from Mshiwakwa. Mshiwakwa is a big stand of trees. Winnemac comes from our word Weenmek, or a catfish. With the upper peninsula and northern part of the lower peninsula controlled by the Ojibwe and the Odawa, the number of Potawatomi settlements in the state of Michigan were much larger than in other states, stretching from Lake Michigan all the way over to Detroit and as far north as the Grand River. The most settlements were located in present-day Berrien County, near Lake Michigan and along the St. Joseph River. Yet again, many place names in the state come from our words. For example, Dwajak comes from Ndwajoyak. Ndwajoyak, which is the name of a village in present-day Niles, means place of harvesting, gathering, or foraging. Madawan comes from Maduin. Maduin is a confluence of streams. The name Michigan also comes from our language. We have a couple names, one meaning Mjiganak, Mjiganak 
means the place that has been clear cut, and the other one being Mshigame, Mshigame, or a big body of water describing the Great Lakes. The Pokagon Man has a 10 county service area in which this area has at least 86 known historical village sites within its boundaries. Michigan counties include three sites in Allegan County, 43 in Berrien, three in Cass, and 13 in Van Buren. In the Indiana counties, known village sites include one in Elkhart County, five in Kosciuszko County, two in Laporte, seven in Marshall, eight in St. Joseph, and one in Stark. One thing is certain, our presence in this region is still here and is documented throughout the Great Lakes in the words that are chosen for the cities. Megwashinasho to Kikindiamin, Panashinasho to Wajiyayak. We are still here on this land, we will always be here.